In this video, we will cover two ways to set up a meeting with Google Meet to conduct a synchronous class online. The first way to create a meeting is through meet.google.com. You can navigate to this site by typing it into your search bar. From here, click on join or start a meeting. You can leave the nickname blank and just click continue. From here, you can hit join now. A dialog box should appear with the joining info that you will need for your students. Clicking copy joining info will copy this information to your clipboard. From here, you are able to paste this joining information in Moodle or in an email that you can send out to your students. The second way is to create a Google Calendar event and invite your students to it. Navigate to calendar.google.com. From here, you can create a calendar event during your class time and add your students to the event. Right now, I am typing in an individual email, but you can use the email list for your class to prevent from typing in every student's name individually. This will automatically create a meeting through Google Meet for your calendar event. The joining info is included in the calendar event. Each meeting will have a unique code or URL that students will use to join the meeting. To make this meeting code and URL the same for each class, make this a repeating event. To do this, click More Options. First, make sure that the calendar event is currently set for your first day of class with the correct day and time. Next, look underneath where you have selected the day and time. There is a drop down menu currently titled Does Not Repeat. If you click this, you can navigate to the custom option. Here, you can select which weekdays you want your class on and even set an end date to this recurring event. Note that you can adjust the end date or any of the calendar event details for that matter at any time. Now save the event and send out the invitation to your students. If you added them as guests, they will get the invitation. If you want to ensure that they receive the meeting code, you can also copy the joining information and add it to Moodle. If students have any questions on how to join the meeting you have set up through Google Meet, refer them to our other video, How to Join a Meeting Through Google Meet. Now you have all the information you need to meet with your class synchronously online using Google Meet. If you have any additional questions, please contact ITS.